I was part right here. $60 tickets for parking too close to the stop sign. While Devon Favors accepted the fact he was wrong, he wanted to see more warning signs near stop signs in his neighborhood. So in October, we've reported on Favors' mission to get the city to install more signs. If you drive around here, you'll see multiple tickets. You'll see a few boots on a car. Favors compared the number of warning signs in the O'Keefe area of his South Shore neighborhood to the number of signs in Roscoe Village, which is much larger. Once he counted, we counted. We compared dozens of blocks in South Shore and Roscoe Village. In South Shore, 35% of the stop signs had warning signs posted near them. In Roscoe Village, it was 65%. And that is wrong. The alderman promised to do something back then, and today? We now have a tow zone sign next to a stop sign. Favors has counted 10 new signs in the neighborhood. Got this one right here, and then a other way is another sign next to a stop sign. And figures the community needs another 50. I'm appreciative and hopefully by spring next year we'll have all signs that are needed next to stop signs. Neighbors have also noticed. Well, I think the sign is just good because at least you know if you park there then you know you're gonna get a ticket once you get past the par no parking sign so it's good. Newman Harrison confirms that uh, by the spring all of those signs will be installed. Reporting live from South Shore, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Yeah, it's a good start, though, Dorothy. Thank you.